Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will talk about how to translate verbal phrases to mathematical phrases. Itong topic na to is an important topic kapag kayo ay nag start sa algebra. Importante kasi na marunong tayo mag-translate ng verbal phrases to mathematical phrases at i-reverse natin ito. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now let's talk about translating verbal phrases to mathematical phrases. And later on, we will reverse the process wherein this mathematical phrases is to be translated in verbal phrases. Ilan sa mga importante ng bagay na kailangan niyo matutunan when it comes to translating verbal phrases to mathematical phrases is your knowledge about the constants, variables, at yung ibang symbols na meron tayo. Like this one. We have these symbols and meron siyang corresponding meaning na dapat natin matandaan. So for addition, for addition symbol, this one, ang meaning is addition plus increased by added to sum of more than. And then for subtraction symbol, subtraction minus decreased by subtracted from less than diminished those words are incorporated with the symbol minus symbol. And then multiplication times multiplied by product of are all incorporated with the symbol x or multiplication. And then sometimes we're also using dot that indicates multiplication as well as the parentheses. Next, division divided by ratio of the quotient of are all the meaning of the slash and the quotient symbol or division symbol. And this one, the equal sign, obviously, that is equivalent to the word equals or is equal to. And the symbol is less than. And then this one is greater than. This is, is less than or equal. Another possible translation of this is is at most and this one is greater than or equal another translation is at least and then lastly this symbol is not equal to so let's have examples on how to translate verbal phrases to mathematical phrases for example number one we have here the first one eh? the sum of five and a number again the sum of five and a number. So basically guys, in translating verbal, verbal phrases to mathematical phrases, kailangan nyo munang hanapin, or ako sa akin na, in my part, I'm doing, inaalam ko muna, anong operation yung kailangan kong gamitin. Okay? So ano yung mga words for number one? For number one, we have here the sum. This words or the word sum, it indicates that you will be needing addition symbol. So what is the translation of the sum of five and a number? I can write, or pwede natin sulat na the sum, di ba? Sum of five and a number. Since we don't have a specific number, we need to represent that using a letter or a variable. So ang translation ko dyan is simply... 5 plus, let's us use n. Yung n natin, that represents the number or a number. We are not bound with the letter. We're not given a specific letter to represent. So I'm using letter n. Let's move on with item number 2. 9 more than a number. 9 more than a number. Iisipin nyo agad, what is the operation to be used? So dito, ito yung hint natin. If you have this more than, you will be using addition sign. Okay, addition sign. Now, and then as you can see, you have here 9. 9. And a number. So I will be using N. But that one is incorrect. Guys, this is incorrect. When you encounter this words more than, Meaning, you need to reverse the placement of the terms. Or you need to rearrange the terms. 
if this one is 9 more than a number and you will think it is translated as 9 plus n, your answer is wrong. This should be n plus 9. Again, the correct answer instead of 9 plus n is n plus 9 because we have this more than. You need to reverse or rearrange the pattern of what you're thinking. Okay? So let's move on with number 3. For item number 3, a number n. So we have the specific number decreased by 5. The word decreased, we are using, we will be using subtraction symbol. So a number n, so lagi natin, uh, ano siya, direct translation lang naman siya. A number n decreased by 5. That's it for item number 3. Next, let's move on with item number 4. Twice a number divided by 3. Again, twice a number divided by 3. Dito ang operation natin ay division symbol. So, paano ba yan? Ito ay twice a number. We don't have a specific number, so we need to represent it using a letter. So, this time, I will be using letter X. Twice meaning you need to multiply it by 2. So, twice, twice, a number x, so you can represent it as 2x, and then divided by 3. So you have to use the symbol divided by 3. Or, pwede rin naman, another possible answer or translation is that you can have twice a number, 2x, divided by 3. Those are the possible translation of this statement. Okay, I hope that you learned something from this part. Next, let's have number 5. The product of x and the square of y. The product. We will think, what is the operation to be used? Diba? So we have here the product, meaning we will be using multiplication. So you have the product of x and the square of y. It is simply translated as x y squared. That is the correct translation for item number 5. Now, I hope that you learned something in, our, in this part of the video on how to translate verbal phrases to mathematical phrases. Now, let's move on with the next part, wherein we will be translating mathematical phrase into verbal phrase. So, medyo mahirap to kasi you need to use words that you're not familiar to. So let's start with, for number one, you have 5x minus 4. I can translate that as 4 subtracted from subtracted from the product of 5 and a number x 4 subtracted from kasi itong subtracted from you can reverse the process and then product of a number and x that is 5x and then 4 this is 4 so let's move on with item number 2 for item number 2 you have this. And translation gen is that you can have this. Or when I think of in this word, I can use the word thrice, meaning multiplying by three. Thrice the sum of x and 6. If your translation is thrice x plus 6, that's incorrect. So we will be using the thrice, thrice the sum of x and 6 because we have here a grouping symbol. Let's move on with item number 3. 
This one can be translated as I will be using for subtracted from the square of a number x. Yan yung akin translation. Let's move on with item number 4. For item number 4, pwede natin sabihin that the translation is 1 added 2 1 half of a number x. That's it for the translation of number 4. So I hope you learned something from this video from translating verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and translating mathematical phrases into verbal phrases. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated in our latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!